Hello, we're here with Youth Music Awards 2021. Sorry, you pulled a face. <laughs> and I was like, should I stop? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so it is the morning of the 20th of October where I'm doing my first presenting gig paid. Um, so, me being me, I decided to document everything. I just can't afford for things to go wrong. <coughs> I'm always clearing my throat. Me and my friends have this ongoing joke that like I've been dying for like 10 years. Um, I don't know what it is. I should probably go see a doctor. <sighs> anyway, let me wash my face. Is any more water gonna touch my face? No. It's actually hurting my ears. Okay, so um, just about to order my taxi. It is 11.54, just on time. Um, my taxi to the train station, not all the way to the venue. Um, to protect my hair, as you can see, I've got my jumbo bonnet on, tied it, and then just gonna put a bucket hat on top because I don't wanna walk around with a bonnet. I know it's been very controversial, women walking around with a bonnet. I don't wanna add <laughs> Flame to the fire, someone takes a picture of me, no, I'm joking. But um, yeah, I personally don't want to walk around. And also as well, this bonnet is like actually like a, like it's a jumbo bonnet. I don't want to undo the hairband, but yeah. So I'm just gonna wear this with the hat. I could look kind of cool. I will film some more on the way, I guess. Yeah. I haven't completely finished my makeup yet. I'm gonna add like bronzer, blusher. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. I'm really scared that I'm gonna forget something. Um, but I've packed my outfit, my shoes. I've got some snacks, my phone. I've got a notepad with all my notes in it for the interviews, um, people that I wanna ask, questions. Um, yeah, I think I'm sorted. Let's go. I've been bothering Dominico with my emails, you know. It's like, this wait, is on. my co presenter, and I feel like he's going to annoy me the whole day. Oh, yes. No, no, joking. no. Don't even annoy it. Like, I'm just going to just be there, like, always on, by her side, just there, like, yeah. <laughs> we are the dream team. Today. The dream team. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. So we were told we were told to dress like professional. No, 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 no. We, casual. We, no, we casual. were told casual was for everyone else. We were told. <laughs> no, <laughs> we were we wear. were told to be wearing formal they said, dress wear. They said, they said, they said, Obviously, I have an outfit change. Wow, she actually a whole dress. doesn't. He actually doesn't have an outfit change. No, I could, I could pull this but that's yeah, okay. Sorry, sorry. At least you're wearing like a shirt, kind of. Yeah. You see, I, I tried. I tried. Fifty percent of us, it's back in black. My heart, you guys. <laughs> You're gonna be in it, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Music Awards 2021. My name's Naima and my co-presenter here is Obi. And we have the lovely Vic Hope. Hi. The lovely Vic Hope. And I know that you've been a big part of like behind the scenes. How excited are you about today's event? Well, 
I was judging it and um, the point at which we were judging, we were still in lockdown. So I saw via a stream, via a link, like all these incredible, incredible young artists. I just won the uh, music producer of the year. Um, yeah, music producer. Music of the year. producer look of the year. Music producer. Look how cool he is. Yeah, he sounded so humble. Yeah, like, yeah, so chill. Oh yeah, yeah, just won the music producer of the year. Of the nothing. year. <laughs> it's, not, it's not, not of the month of the year. I didn't expect it to be to be like this. Yeah. No, I hear I you. Know, bro, take it in, soak it all up. Music producer of the year, big man. That's an amazing like, award. It is. So obviously, Priv on the beat. You've won music producer of the year. Last question. Yeah. What's next for you? Um, well, I've got a lot of new music coming out, um, so that's going to come out over probably, I think I've got some music coming out in November. Okay, <laughs> very soon, very soon. <laughs> and, then, and then from then it's going to be, it's going to be quite regular, so. Yeah, so I've got about a year's worth of music, so. Oh, perfect. So we better watch your space then. Fam, watch your space, and also, if my man was... More laid back, you'll be horizontal right now. So. <laughs> but I remember the beat, it was fantastic talking to you. Congrats on winning your award, my guy. Love. <laughs>we saw you perform you opened up the night yep. and that was amazing how did it feel to start off the event well i would say it's nerve-wracking to just put a food on a stage anytime but um it was actually great i just felt like it was such an honor to be able to warm people up in a way or another. Yeah. Mm. Um, in such a special night, I haven't seen so many people at once in a very long time, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we are with Mano at Youth Music Awards 2021, who has literally just got off the stage after performing. You just dragged him off stage. Yeah. Right now. Like, <laughs> he's you, bro. Um, how does it feel, obviously, after being in lockdown for so long, to be at such a big event like this and be up on stage performing? Um, it's freaking crazy. It feels great, first of all. But it's also kind of terrifying because I haven't seen such a crowd like that in a few years. So I'm like, oh my God, hopefully I don't completely brick this. <laughs> oh my days, I have to just salute the Wallabies. Bro. <laughs> They're <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I got married in these we're here with mike Gemma, and adam from reform radio and they have just won the outstanding project awards at youth music 2021 <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell us a bit more about the work that went behind this award um so we're reform radio and um, we're an organization from manchester a community interest company and we support young unemployed unemployed adults into um, kind of different career paths. Hello, we're here with Youth Music Awards 2021. Sorry, no. you pulled a face. Oh, no. <laughs> and I was like, should I stop? No, you you okay. <laughs> Hello, we're here with Youth Music Awards 2021. I have superlative and, sorry. It's all right. It's all right. I'm Do you know what's off. so crazy? I've actually not fumbled the whole day and now I'm fumbling now. <laughs> 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 Hello, we're here with Youth Music Awards 2021. I have Superlative and Karis Jade here who have literally just got off the stage um, and it was a really hyped performance. How does it feel to be back out like performing in front of crowds again after lockdown? It feels amazing, honestly. Um, inside's a bit crowded and a bit boring. Um, I've been a bit scared of the outside world, but recently I'm, I'm starting to embrace it a lot more and music is helping me to do that a lot. So places like this are amazing for confidence and love and affection. You don't even look like you need any confidence because that performance was 10-10. Um, what about yourself? Um, it's, it's been weird to be honest because it's completely, it almost seems a bit different now compared to what it was before lockdown. It's almost like people want it so much more now. Yeah. There's actually like, we really are a part of something now. I don't know if you feel like that. Um, but we're on tour at the minute and I've never ever performed at a dinner or anything like that before. So this is such a mad experience. It's, yeah, it's, it's mad. I wanna take my life up. What's the pain of my life? I swear I fell in love with a Nina, 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 oh. So we're at Youth Music Awards 2021 um, and we're here with Parsa Lee, who's literally just got off the stage. The man himself. Yeah, um, it was a lit performance. African Rebel, let's go. So uh, thank you for gracing us with your presence. Yeah, exactly. And the whole team actually. Yeah, the whole there team were lit. The whole team, team were lit, definitely. 
Um, so obviously, like you've been connected to youth music for a while now um, because of their f projects that they funded in Coventry. Um, tell us a bit more about that. I began on no music, but when it comes to positive youth, the obviously the end is a little trap in it. So it's a weave a spot, you know what I'm saying? That's why it's important for, you know what I'm saying? You'll s I grew up seeing people doing gram outside of youth clubs and that, you know what I'm saying? I used to see it. I just, I don't want no involvement in music, in, you know, yeah. so. It really pushed the certain there was what there's one woman called Susie. She started a thing called Changing Tracks in Coventry. You know what I'm saying? One one of the only outlets of, you know, performing or making music, you know what I'm saying? So you know, is it big it's motivation. I ran by motivation and I've been motivated. You yeah. Know? Right. And you remember her name from hey, shout out Susie, wherever you are, V you did you did a madness right now for your I want to talk about the music because obviously you had the whole crowd hyped. Um, <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone was loving it. Everyone was gassed. Um, I would, I want to know kind of like how's it been like for you because I know you've been doing festivals and stuff this year. How's it been like post lockdown, just being out and being able to perform to your fans? Here would have been hundred times better than my first festival performance. You know what I'm saying? It's every I've never performed like that like that. Okay. It's been recent, so every you know what I'm saying. I'm growing with Vendi Sound, you know what I'm saying? My DJs, fashionistas, you know what I'm saying? Creative Jeez. designers, you know what I'm saying? There's creative people around me, you know what I'm saying? We're learning together, stepping together. That's life, really. Yeah. I'm saying with the steps, it's all apparent. So, yeah. So, yeah, man, every day is another lesson. I got one more question. What's next for Parsley? Yeah, for real. What's World domination. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. The, the, that's every, every day is the next, isn't it? There's no ending, you know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. No. Even when we go is what we leave behind our minds, you know. I'm saying the good we've done or what pain we've seen and transformed it into, you know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't grow up seeing our royalty, you know what I'm saying? I always say it, but I'm going to say it again. Why did they teach us about Egypt and I didn't see no Sudan, you know what I'm saying? They have more pyramids than Egypt, you know what I'm saying? Black pharaohs, I'm going to say it again and again and again, you know what I'm saying? Because people don't know the royalty, we are here take that out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're here with stubbornness, we're prideful, you know what I'm saying? Not the other ego pride, boo, you know what I'm saying? The pride of who we are, you know what I'm saying? No ego, you know, you know what I'm saying? We just go for the love of it, that's, that's it. Uh, that's well, it. Be real with me, are you like, are you really like 56 on the inside, fam? Because the, the <laughs> wisdom, the wisdom you're giving me is beyond the years right now, you know? It's, it's actually just, it's a, it's a, it's an honor. I can't lie, I feel like I'm learning more just being in presence and like, I I have to commend it because obviously it's one of them ones where black youth are only seen in a certain way in it. But you're literally just subverting that stereotype and also uplifting others because you don't even see that many people do. So, you know what, I'm giving you your props. You shut down the, the stage as well, so. There we go, fam. It's like, yeah, enjoy, fam. Enjoy. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> if you haven't noticed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Everyone who knows me knows that. Um, and like the thing, like I barely ever got in trouble in school, but when I got in trouble, it was for talking. And like, now look at me, um, obviously trying to make a career out of talking and just like interviewing people. And the other thing is, I literally love people. Like I just love people. I don't think that sounds weird. In my head, I'm like, does that sound weird? But it doesn't. Like, I just I just love people's energy, especially when it's, like, people just good vibes. Um, and, like, today, there was just so many people that I could just feel their passion, like, feel their, um, feel their enthusiasm and, like, their dedication to their work and their craft. And all of that is just, like, washing over me. And it's just made me so gassed. Like, it was so sick to work with so many like-minded people. And, like, even people who were, like maybe doing jobs that you wouldn't think like you would just think oh this is just like like for example some of the event runners today and then like I've connected with them and they're making their own music and it's just it's just so cool like I love it so much and obviously I wanted to go into presenting or I'm going into presenting it's happening um but and so I love all types of things I love just like interviewing people and talking about different topics and obviously I talk about so much with my podcast as well but it's just so cool because anyone who knows me knows I'm literally like a music fanatic always. I love being put onto new music. Love how music gets um, rewired. I've got a show called Rewired. Um, and yeah, so it was so cool. Like I just really appreciate artists and their talent. And I just, I just love it so much. Like I got so gassed about some of the performances. Well, all of the performances were so good. But there were some people that were just like, I remember, right, this this is going to sound so extreme. Is it going to sound extreme? I don't know. Let me just say it. I remember when I watched J. Cole, I think I watched him for my 20th birthday. So, wow, wow, that's like four years ago now. So, yeah, I watched him. And I remember after watching him live, I've, I've seen him prior to that, but that was his... Get this right, Naima. That was his For Your Eyes Only tour, Right. So, because I remember he did KOD at Wireless and that's when I saw him then. But that was his For Your Eyes Only tour. And I was gassed for weeks. I was on a high after watching that. Like, watching live performances is just different. Like, it's just a different level of just, mmm. Like, you just feel it. You feel it in your body. So, like, some of the performances today, like, there's one specific guy, his name's T. And he has, like, this sort of spoken word rap style to his music. Um, and he performed this song called Black Wings. And I literally got that same sort of feeling um, that I did when I was, when I watched J. Cole all those years ago as well. I was just on the high, like, watching him, like, literally gave me goosebumps. I was so gassed. I was like, oh my God, he's so sick. Like, I, then when I was interviewing him, I was like a fangirl. It was amazing. We're at Youth Music Awards 2021, and we have T, who has just won the Lyricist Award. Um, and is currently in the running also for the Live Performance Award. So we might cheers, find cheers, out cheers, if cheers. he's a double winner. <laughs> um, but first of all, how does it feel to win the Lyricist Award? It's crazy. It feels mad. Because, like, it's, it's, you know what it is? It's one of those where it's like, I'm glad that people are listening and appreciate it. That's why, <laughs> that's why I do it. Yeah. It's the message and people are listening, so I'm, I'm more than grateful. Definitely. My thing is, who is your lyrical inspiration? I need, I need to know. <laughs> you know what, I have a few. I think the OG was like Rich Free 2. Yeah. yeah. Watching him like when I was younger, like come with crazy bars, I'm like, all right, cool, I got, I got work to do. Mm. But now it's, do you know what I mean? Everyone from Kanye to Kendrick to, yeah, just. Yeah, man. Insp inspiration everywhere. Exactly. So I know obviously you've got EPs out, you've got projects, um, and you, you won an award or you won a sort of initiative with Limp Fright to be the most ready artist. Um, what's next for you? More. More. The world domination. <laughs> yeah, I mean. um, it's just the thing of like, I've been doing it and I'm so happy with the process and like this stuff makes you go like, oh cool, I'm doing well, yeah. keep doing it. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Anytime there's a kind of like, I have like a slow patch, stuff like this makes you go, ah, oh, people listen. So yeah. like, do yeah. it. Well, I'm sharing your music everywhere now. <laughs> I just saw you, I, I'm honestly fangirling right now, <laughs> no. but I just saw you on stage I'm, and I'm I was vex. like- I, I missed out the whole thing. <laughs> like, damn. He was doing other interviews and yeah. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> I'm watching T. Um, honestly, it was wait, so, so good. But wait, one, one, one last question. So how has Youth Music Awards been instrumental in the creation of T? Um, it's one of those where like, again, like I say, it's the, like I have up periods and down periods like everybody. Yeah. And like, just even hearing back and being like, oh, you're nominated for two things. 
okay, yeah. Yeah. cool. Like, like that means that I must be doing something well. So it made me go, I need to keep doing it. If yeah. people, yeah. if people want to keep listening. So it's just one of those things where like, it's just another thing that makes you go like another foundation built, like keep going, like yeah. keep, mm. keep at it. That keep motivation, at it. isn't it? Mm. Lovely. And your sound is amazing. So definitely Thank keep you. going. I need, I, need to, I need to catch up. I'm going <laughs> to listen to you fam. I'm Spotify this as soon as you're done with me, I can't lie. I've already started following. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, bro, thank you for talking to us, man. Good luck on, you, on the next award. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yes. But congratulations for this one. So yeah, I love it. Maybe like, I was going to say maybe I need to calm down, but that's not going to happen. Um, it was just so 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 good um and now like i was really tired earlier like i was properly yawning and i feel like i've got myself worked up and like so excited um because of like the people that i got to speak to like i even interviewed pastor lou which is definitely like that's actually gonna be like one to remember like my first proper presenting gig um and I interviewed Pastor Lou and it's so cool to know that like